in the U.S. In 2001, he won the Dora Mae Moore Award for Outstanding Musical for his opera, Iron Road, written with librettist Mark Brown. Oh, and I should introduce the two performers that you're going to have as part of your section. Alice Ho, and you want to stand up? That's Alice, Canadian, a Hong Kong-born Canadian composer also, and she won a 2000, 2013 uh, Dora Mae Moore Award for Outstanding Original Opera. She's composed, uh, uh, she's won an international competition, uh, competition for her compositions in Boston and Winnipeg. And her works have been played by the China National Symphony and Spree Orchestra and the Toronto, Vancouver, Winnipeg, and Victoria Symphonies. And she will um, be accompanying our singer, mezzo soprano Erica Iris Wong. Yeah. She won the 2011 Eckhart Gramache National Music Competition. Um, she's an opera singer uh, featured in last year in Naomi's Road with the Vancouver Opera. And she's currently in her fourth season with the Canadian Opera Company Chorus. And she returns next season in Madame Butterfly and Paul Step. So, that's your chance, why don't you? Thank you very much, Jen, for your kind introduction. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be uh, on the stand here with Mr. Hallman and Anne. I'm very grateful for her great movies that you see a lot of success. I, I, the reason I stand up because I need to uh, uh, push the button for the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So this is the, uh, the, the sort of the poster for the opera that sometimes I have. And this is the poster from Anne for her movie, the Iron World uh, the movie. That's the Chinese poster. <laughs> And this is the, the story of the uh, early immigrants in, 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 in North America. And I'm very grateful to be in company of some of the, um, uh, the, uh, sort of the, the generation who actually were uh, the ones who built the railroad in Canada. Uh, this is a new script that I uh, discovered in my, my research for the opera. What's interesting is that besides mentioning about the immigrants from Hong Kong landing <coughs> in uh, uh, Victoria, there's uh, mention about the money that they earn, that if you take home 500 American dollars, you are rich and you become a diverse in, in uh, China. And what's interesting too, it mentioned one sentence that uh, among the, uh, the, the people on this ship is the young one, young female. So the story, uh, what's intriguing me was, even though I came in 65, I didn't know about the, the head tax or the, the, the immigration problem until six, nine, uh, uh, 1982, when I sort of returned to Toronto, and I met someone who told me that uh, there's no immigrants for a long period of time. And, and, and it, it, the way he put it is that there's no female immigrants, so there are a lot of the the male immigrant, and I thought, see, that's not very good because I was <laughs> concerned about, oh, you know, uh, it's uh, very hard to find you know, uh, um, a Chinese woman at that time. So I uh, pick up the story that uh, she would come to Canada as a man, and this is not unusual for Chinese opera. And in this uh, opera, both uh, Cantonese and English are used. I know the proper dialect is probably Tongsan, but we couldn't find uh, the, uh, the, uh, the singers, and, and, and I don't know the language well enough for, for that purpose. Uh, we also, uh, Mark Rennell, the writer, used the five elements from the, the Taoist philosophy to symbolize uh, various characters. For the female character, like Guan, she's water, her father is fire, they don't get along. Her lover, uh, Neko, is birth, so there's a kind of a Romeo and Juliet uh, story, although we try very hard to avoid the same ending. And there's words by Mark Bernal, also some Chinese lyrics by George Wong. So right now I'd like to ask uh, Erica and Alice to uh, sing an excerpt for you. And this is called Cool Mountain Water. In the story, those of you who have seen the movie, um, 
like one who is dressed as a man, decided to take a child by the string, um, and her identity eventually is being revealed. Um, I was comparing that to the movie, it's very, very interesting. I travel at this moment quite a lot, but in the movie, it goes by quite quickly. So, uh, but it, this is the difference between the, the opera and the, uh, and the, um, the movie. So, um, here's the cool mountain walking.
Thank you. So, um, just to uh, speed up the, the story, um, towards the end, um, of course, uh, uh, one person died. I, I wouldn't be you, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, um, you, you can see it with me. Um, uh, there is a song in the opera that sort of um, show how these workers are very homesick and they thought of their far off home and how beautiful it was. So I thought this might resonate with the uh, immigrants in, in Canada. Uh, so here is uh, Beautiful is the East.
Thank you very much. Uh, some of the pictures are from the opera and some of just uh, historical uh, photos. Okay.